Okay, so um, I've been suggested to make a tree frog care video, um, especially for white tree frogs, but um, I'll just add it to all tr kind kinds of tree frogs, so I'll um, add them all in one. And I hope you'll enjoy, and let's get started. In here, I've got my Japanese tree frogs. Um, I've got two of them, and I think they're hiding. There's one right there in the edge and the other one is hiding behind that rock but um some guys don't really need branches um this guy i do actually have one in the background but um they prefer to have more larger leaves for the smaller types of tree frogs um but the larger ones will like branches more than leaves um since they will just fall off but Here's my white tree frog, and bigger frogs do need a deeper and bigger water dish. Um, and you need to keep it moist every day. I spray it down three times a day. I think it might be a little too much, but it should it should do. Um, and here I've got my blue uh, Shregel's blue frog, um, right there, my little baby one. Um, this guy has a shallow wa shallow water dish. Um, they don't really need too much water. Um, but yeah, this guy doesn't really climb up so much, but once it gets bigger, um, it should be climbing on these um, larger leaves as well. Um, but I do have a branch here. <coughs> but yeah, basically, smaller guys don't really need too much branches. Um, it's good to have a couple though. Um, and you can always have larger leaves like pothos and stuff, and they'll really enjoy um, resting on those. And of course, you could just have a huge jungle-like look um, in your setup. I've got some mud substrate in the bottom and a ton of moss. Um, I spray this tank down two times a day, um, and yet it's still pretty dry once it's once it gets to daytime. Um, but I do have a tub um, with plenty of water. Um, they do tend to find a place where they can hide um, without even getting them a hide. Um, and they pretty much get used to that, so that's good. Now here's a example of a setup that you don't really want to give a tree frog. Um, it's really got nothing but um, a background and a little bit of a cave here. Um, but this has pretty much small leaves, yet this will still grow though. Um, and just grass. This is more of a maybe a baby gecko setup. Um, but it's not going to work out for tree frogs really well. Um, but yeah, you've got to get at least a few branches and make it taller. Um, if it was a baby, it might work for a while, but once they do grow up, you got to get them a bigger cage. Um, and they do prefer to have a taller setup than a wider one, so that's something that you got to keep in mind. Um, and they do feed on crickets, mealworms, waxworms, and dubia roaches maybe. Um, white tree frogs can eat pinkies. I wouldn't suggest feeding them those, but they should eat it um, and they do breathe from their skin so if you are gonna hold them I will suggest washing your hands really well or um, actually using some rubber gloves or something but I've washed my hands really well and I'll give you a good look of him so here's my wife's tree frog he's got a funny look right now um, really good he's really tame um, and fat um, he's been doing really well in this Exoterra setup, um, so I'm glad about that. And my Japanese tree frogs are doing really well in here as well. Um, let me get a good look of these guys for you. So here's the guy that's really cool. So I actually, uh, I will actually feed this guy for you guys um, while I'm at it. Um, he will eat from tweezers. Um, they aren't a big deal about not eating food. They usually really do well with mealworms at first. And then maybe you could get them used to crickets and they'll be good with that. So as you can see, this guy's just chop chowing down on them and you can see why he's so fat. He has a huge appetite. Um, all true frogs do love eating insects, so that's really cool. Um, they're really not hard on feeding, so yeah. I really do suggest getting one if you don't have a amphibian or a frog. 
So yeah, they're a really good um, starter amphibian. Um, actually, amphibians. Um, tree frogs do really make great pets, and you can make great setups for them, like vivariums and terrariums. Um, so yeah, um, overall, you just need a high, uh, tall setup for them. Um, and have the right amount of food for them. This guy's a little too obese, so I need to sort of slow the, slow it down. And you need to keep it really humid. Um, I spread this setup, like I said, two times a day. It should be more, but it should be good about that much. Um, and if you want, you could do it a little more, and they should be good. Um, they do tend to shed every so often, so yeah. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.